I wanted to transpose some of the um, the struggles with the legacy of Curtis's work and the way we think about ourselves as either being a subject or an observer. And to do so, I, I used kind of a science fiction lens to flip that perspective. My name is Ryan Federson, and I am the artist who created the Posthuman Archive. When Edward Curtis assigned the term vanishing race, it was a part of a social Darwinist movement aligned with manifest destiny in order to show Native people as being incompatible with a modern future. And so similarly, this project imagines a replacement to biological humans and that they've said that we're vanishing, but there's no evidence to back that up. It's a statement, but it doesn't make it a truth. When participants submit a photograph by attaching the posthuman archive hashtag to a, a public social media account, it'll be uh, collected and then the subject and caption will be assigned using a proprietary algorithm that is directly based on references to E.S. Curtis's captions for the North American Indian as well as the U.S. Um, Library of Congress's subjects that have been assigned to these photographs. Um, I pulled some of the ways that he reduced um, the subjects to, to types or typicals in very kind of scientific dehumanizing ways as well as looked at the, some of the ways that were, they were organized that could be also be contemporized. Um, the Indians of stone houses are now the humans of glass offices. The North American Indian is the North American human. I wanted the backdrops to be slightly dystopic um, since the premise is that um, you know humans are at the are at the end of their period. We are actually in the Anthropocene. We are in the age where humans have done irre irrevocable harm to our environment. And so I wanted the backdrops to kind of hint to this abandoned, dystopic or destructive space. I hope that visitors will have an opportunity to think a little bit differently about the E.S. Curtis uh, legacy, about the North American Indian project, and to think about how um, motivations, both political and social, inform histories and inform the ways that we view histories and give people the opportunity to um, better transpose themselves into the position of an indigenous person in, this, in that photography project.